In the last two decades, housing demand has dramatically increased and prices exponentially rose everywhere, from towering skyscrapers in Shanghai to small rural towns in China. Consequently, the number of houses has increased. Property prices have escalated, making affordable housing increasingly scarce in the market. How did it get like this? China's welfare housing system from the 1950s to the 1990s. If we look at China's real estate history, China operated under a welfare housing system where houses were considered state-allocated welfare rather than commodities. Individuals paid minimal rent to secure an allocated house through their work units. During this period, urban areas experienced severe housing shortages, leading to a 20% reduction in per capita living spaces from 4.5 square meters in 1950 to 3.6 square meters in 1978. This huge financial burden for the government was another inefficiency. Compared with the expenditures associated with construction and maintenance, the income gained from tenants could not keep up with the surplus of expenses. The linkage of housing provision to state-owned enterprises had severely restricted labor mobility and decreased economic vitality. It hindered the development of housing-related industries, which were expected to boost the economy and employment, but were now facing a shortage of resources. All of these problems kick-started the reform for China's housing system in the 1990s, Transition to Housing Marketization, 1998 to 2002. Interestingly, the approach of housing marketization observed in the U.S. served as a source of inspiration for China's reform initiatives. These models, characterized by private property ownership and market-driven transactions, influenced China's policies at a time when its government sought to enhance living conditions, encourage housing mobility, and bolster local economies. Over-marketization, 2002 to 2015. The marketization of real estate sectors resulted in skyrocketing land value. This surge has been particularly pronounced over the last two decades, contributing to a significant increase in the wealth of homeowners due to widespread speculation of prices. People began saving significantly for home purchases, further fueling speculation in the housing market and driving costs up even higher. Although such savings contributed to market prosperity, the high saving rates also imposed constraints on economic growth. In China, people began lowering their standards of living to save money for housing. Parents and grandparents would pass on wealth to assist their families in finding housing, only further escalating the housing market. In addition, there is no property tax in China, meaning there is no holding cost for houses. This gives rise to speculation in the real estate market, inflating prices beyond regular incomes. If we look at Shanghai, the average property price is 49 times the average annual income, making home ownership an impossible dream for many. Such property woes pushed first-time buyers to rent instead of buy, which put a heavy financial burden on the middle class, especially young professionals. Major cities exhibit severe overcrowding, with families often sharing cramped spaces due to exorbitant rental costs and unaffordable home prices. In Hong Kong, a city known for its limited land area, the situation is especially dire with cage homes, where people, unable to find any other immediate affordable housing, live in extremely tight quarters. Parallels with Americans' housing prices In America, the modern housing crisis can be summed up with an explanation of supply and demand. America is short of some 6.5 million homes, which pushes supply down and demand plus prices up. This encourages people to treat homes as speculative investment, pushing prices up higher, which in turn encourages further speculation at infinitum. On top of this, institutional investors become earnestly involved in the housing market after the 2008 recession, proceeding to buy up as many homes and housing units as possible before prices would proceed to go up and then renting them out at each new increased market price, culminating in an exponential increase in national median rent cost, home prices, and household ratios, all while wages stagnate. State intervention and the uncontrollable market from 2016 to the present day. After observing America's 2008 financial crisis, the Chinese government intervened in the market. To draw a lesson from America's handling of the crash, the Chinese government could impose a property tax to incur a holding cost for houses so as to discourage speculative real estate investment. Other solutions include regulating private developers and improving the rental market, 
providing an alternative to home ownership for its citizens. China's housing challenges raise crucial questions regarding the roles of the state and the market in shaping housing sectors, both in China and the United States. Should China emulate the American way, stressing market reliance to handle housing issues? Additionally, should property taxes be implemented to mitigate the overmarketization of housing in China? It is our hope that this video serves as a starting point for a closer examining of these questions.